Hey guys, welcome back again. It's John Edward Eklund. Uh, today we're going to look at our long-awaited uh, new two-stroke sled from Yamaha, the SX Venom. Um, and uh, it's really interesting. One of the first things I want to touch on, they're kind of calling this an all-new ski from these guys. They call it the Strike Ski. And again, it's all new. We don't really have any trail time on this. This is our first one we've ever actually even laid our eyes on. But they, uh, they're basically going between a, a really fair balance between handling but also light steering effort. Um, if you, if you kind of skip through the notes, it basically says it creates, it's trying to create a perfect pressure point um, on the carbide. Um, so that's, that's kind of interesting stuff. And as you can see, the, the spindle geometry is pretty, pretty radical. Lots of, of suspension uh, up in front. Very lightweight construction. We're going to do a cutaway on the MSO because I know it's a, it's a mystery because they never really do advertise <laughs> like a dry weight on this or, you know, an, an MSO shipped horsepower is, is kind of a thing. So we'll touch base on that when we get to that, uh, get to that level. Uh, when you come across the rear skid here, you'll see they refer to the track as a one inch lug hacksaw. That's a 14 inch wide. This is the 121 inch model, as you can see on the back there. So this is, this is kind of a nice trail unit, um, but really, really nice. Um, standard. 4.5 inch riser, 11.7 gallon fuel cell. So I'm guessing with how a 397 cc two stroke can do on gas, I'm guessing the range on this is going to be pretty big. We Again, we don't know, nothing's really been tested yet. Um, another thing that's kind of cool, this is one of the best panels we've ever seen. So you just flip, flip, and you kind of peel this away. And remember those days, there's actually space in there. <laughs> you can actually, I mean, obviously the exhaust system is, is taking up some space, but you got your coolant, you got your clutches, um, everything is out there. So for serviceability, you can see it's kind of a dream. Um, and we can come around to the other side and then have a peek at what they've got going on here. So if we open this guy up, you'll see the oil reservoir again kind of the fuel cell is shaped around the front um, and an oil reservoir and a pipe and a fuse map um, so again there's there's actually space here there's also a couple of Zeus fittings on the front it looks like the, the whole front of the hood just pops off so um, really really nice really really tidy again we'll uh, we'll get to the horsepower and everything when we when I see it in writing <laughs> so and uh, I, I know there's some of you, it's like, uh, well, geez, a, a two-stroke single-cylinder 400, well, what does that sound like? Well, let's find out. So first of all, too, recoils didn't die. Here's a, here's a trail sled with a recoil, so that's cool. But we'll do it the easy way. So you just pop on the tether, check the kill switch, and let's turn it. A couple of basic tidbits of info up on the dash there, speed. RPM over here, you can kind of cruise the road down over. showed up um, a great price point and you know really something different from Yamaha so excited to see more from those guys you know more new ski technology new chassis technology and of course the return of two-stroke and things like XXV back in the Yamaha vocabulary we welcome it here at Eklund uh, if you like the video smash the like button help uh, people find this stuff and if there's something specific you want us to touch on let us know and we'll pound it out for you take care